let us solve one more problem this problem is about uh, finding the vectors d b and h from vector t we know the relations so we can easily find them so electric field is given so from electric field you can easily find d here we need to multiply e with permittivity epsilon but uh, b and h are vectors related to magnetic field the relation between electric field and magnetic field is explained by maxwell's equation so electric to electric magnetic magnetic no problem we can find easily h from b it's not an issue only when you want to convert electric field to magnetic field or magnetic field to electric field we have to use maxwell's equation so maxwell's equations are the relations between time varying electric and magnetic fields okay so let us start the solution part 1 d see the medium here free space so it is epsilon not e so epsilon not into electric field e that is amplitude em sin omega t minus beta z omega t minus beta z put together will give the total phase of the wave ay coulombs per meter square so this is the electric flux density due to this e so numerical no numerical calculations are there in this problem so point to be noted here is the direction of electric field is in positive y direction so d is also in the same direction e and d are always oriented in the same direction so now we have to find other two vectors b and h let us go for b we shall find b first b is the magnetic flux density so we have to use a maxwell's equation we have two maxwell's equations having time varying fields this is the one and one more is there curl h is equal to jc plus do d by do t so there are two equations but we cannot use both of them we have to use only one of them so which one to use look at this one e is given so e is given suppose if i use this equation d already found d is ready d is ready we can differentiate d with respect to time t conduction current density is zero for free space this goes to zero we can find h from this one but the problem is there is curl attached with h so it is very difficult to bring h outside the curl so that's why this equation is useful if and only if h is known if h is not known don't use this equation since here e is given you can use this equation so remember whenever we want to operate curl any vector the vector should be known we cannot find this vector from the curl very easily so what is just now is that let us remove this equation which is not required so we shall go 
with this Maxwell's equation. Curl E, we can find using a determinant permit. And after solving curly, we'll get a vector. That vector can be integrated with respect to time to get B. So two operations here, one is curl, another one is integration to cancel dou B by dou T to get B. So first, let us go for curl operation, partition coordinate system, the vector is in. So partial derivatives, which vector we want to use here vector e so that's why the components of the vector e is equal to minus dot by dot t. so let me get back to vector e look at the vector e it is em sine omega t minus beta z a cap y. That means only y component of the vector is given. <clears throat> and the other components are zero. <clears throat> this component is zero. This is also zero. Only y component is known. So let us <clears throat> solve this determinant. Now it is ax into <clears throat> product zero minus this one, dou by dou z. <clears throat> this is dou by dou z of ey. So middle one, it is minus ay is completely zero minus zero. So the cross one. plus az into, <clears throat> what happened is it? For az, uh, we multiply these two minus these two. So, dou by dou x of ey minus zero is equal to minus dou b by So we have here two differentiations, one with x, another one with z. Let us copy the e vector from here, control C, place it here. Look at this one. This electric field is a function of z only so we can differentiate it with z differentiation of e with any other thing will be zero that means differentiation of e by e with respect to x goes to zero only with respect to z is available so coefficient is leave the zero minus dou by dou z of place e y there e y is e m sine omega t minus beta z beta is some constant don't worry about it so only y component you have to place that means only this much you have to place not the complete vector only component value this is our e y These two are zero, leave them, this is zero. So is equal to minus dou b by dou t. So now simple differentiation here, minus em, differentiation of sine is cos. Omega t minus z, then differentiate this argument with respect to z omega t differentiation zero 
minus beta z is minus beta that is minus beta is equal to minus dou b by dot now here one minus is cancelled with the right side so dou b by dou t is equal to minus beta em cos omega t minus beta z see this one we left here a x cap that is the unit vector and this is here so this is the dou b by dou t to get b out of this let me integrate integrate with respect to time t then we get b here minus beta em integration of cos is sine omega t minus beta z t a cap x we have integrated cos to get sine now we have to differentiate this argument and place it in the denominator place it in denominator so because of the integration we have to differentiate this argument put it in denominator this is with respect to time t see omega t differentiation is omega beta z the differentiation is zero with respect to t so this is going to be divided by omega So finally, B becomes minus beta em divided by omega sine of omega t minus beta z a cap x. This is what is our magnetic flux density in Tesla. So B is ready. The last one, the third one, to find H. So H is equal to simply B by mu naught because it is free space given in the problem. So minus beta some constant em by omega into mu naught the denominator that is sine of omega t minus beta z a x cap this is the magnetic field intensity in amperes per meter look at this one b and h are having the same direction of x positive x axis that is electric field is having the direction of y axis so electric field and magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other so that is why sometimes you may have to sketch and understand what is happening so let us try to sketch the field variation let us sketch E first as a function of the distance. Distance is Z in this case because E is given by E is equal to M sine omega t minus beta Z A cap Y. This is the quantity given in volts per meter. You have to sketch E versus Z, but there are two variables in this case. One is time, another one is Z. You can sketch with respect to any one variable in one graph. So let, let us assume that uh, this term omega T is a constant. So T is held constant. Assume that T is not varying. At a particular 
instant of time at a particular instant of time omega t becomes a constant electric field is a sinusoidal so frequency is one omega is single frequency one value constant if t is also constant so that time we can think or we can assume that only z is the variable and we can have a sketch of this one with respect to z electric field is having y component that means direction of the electric field is in this direction y direction direction of electric field is in y direction that means electric field is looking upward but moving to the right side this is the propagation direction of the electric field anyhow it's going to be a sine wave so sine wave so this is the sine wave so what are the values to be indicated take the amplitude positive amplitude em sine the shape is sine omega t is constant beta actually beta will be understood very well in electromagnetic waves beta is called phase constant and its unit is given by radians per meter unit is given by radians per meter using beta we can find lambda the wavelength which is given by 2 pi by beta 2 pi by beta is the wavelength so since z is the distance z is the distance this distance between the two peaks is called one wavelength that is given by 2 pi by beta so many meters okay so what we can indicate is along y axis we can give the amplitude for this waveform along horizontal axis we can give the distance between the two successive peaks that is called wavelength two pi by beta so had we knew this beta we would have calculated this value and kept it here so that makes the sketch of electric field similarly if you would like to sketch the magnetic field h also which is minus beta em divided by omega mu not sin of omega t minus beta z but having i guess x component x component in this case so so if you would like to sketch in the same way variable is z so this this is always taken along x axis and the, this component is x component so vertical axis is x and this is a sine wave look at the amplitude is negative so take an inverted sine wave with negative amplitude of minus beta em by omega mu not and as i said already peak to peak distance is the wavelength that can be calculated from the formula 2 pi by beta so this gives the sketch of magnetic field according to the equation given that's about this problem